other case, 9370. Tires are leaking at the beads. We're gonna do some rim work. These things are in rough shape. Here's the before. I'll show you guys the after. Here's the after, all cleaned up, painted, just to make it a smooth surface. Probably don't want to get paint in these little splines here, but the tire sliding on, it'll, it should eat that paint right off of there. So it can bite into the bead there. I'll show you guys the process I'm using to get to this point. Here's the tools in our arsenal. Flap disc for the inside of the bead right here. Get all that stuff. Wire brush isn't hardly touching it. But then we're just kind of wire brushing these splines and this section right here. And then we're gonna get it all painted. Here she is all cleaned up, prepped. We're gonna paint it now. And hopefully we won't have any more problems with the beads. I'll wipe all that down, you guys see all them little boogers on there? I'll wipe all that down, we'll get her painted. I figure while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and put new valve cores in it, valve stems, and then there's your outer core right there. We're already here, might as well swap them out. Cleaned her up just a little bit. Put our new core in. Stem. It is just brass, so I'm not sure how you guys like to do it, but I usually, I usually tighten these up until they strip out, and then I just blame it on somebody else. No, you'll see when we put it together, though. It doesn't take very much, just to, you'll see that O-ring right there kind of smash out just a little bit. You know you got a good seal. That's good right there. Can't be more than six foot pounds on it, I'd say. Too bad. Should seal up nicely. <laughs> 